lines in art. In this video, we will be looking at how lines, textures, and compositions can be used to convey a variety of emotions and to serve different purposes in art. Lines can be very simple, but don't be fooled by their simplicity. Lines, depending on their shapes and their patterns that they form, can be used to make very complex drawing. So what is a line? A line is a shape whose length is considerably greater than its width. Linear is relating to line or lines. There are many different kinds of lines, and in this video we will go over just a few. Negative lines are typically an unfilled area with a linear quality. Implied lines are non-continuous lines that, depending on how they're placed, can form a shape. And an outline is the line described by the outer boundary of a form, as seen here with the heart example. Depending on the way that lines are drawn, the amount of them or their positions, lines can represent many things. For instance, lines can be very expressive, expressing different feelings and emotions. Seen here are some rough, jagged lines and evoke a sense of anxiety. And on the other hand, there's curvy lines, which can evoke a sense of playfulness. There are horizon lines, which convey feelings of calmness and stability, possibly because they are associated with the comforting orientation of the Earth's horizon line. Contrastingly, vertical lines portray a defiance of Earth's natural gravitational pull and can evoke a more precarious feeling. And additionally, diagonal lines can help show movement and drama when used in a drawing. Lines can also show density and value. So in this box example, we see that the box on the left seems a lot heavier because the lines are placed so close together, which also makes the box's value darker. Contrastingly, when less lines are used, the box feels lighter and the value is lighter. Different value lines can help describe different areas of your drawing. For instance, if there's a shadow happening, you might use a darker value. And if there's a mid-tone, you would use a mid-value. And if there's a highlight, you might use your eraser to erase. Along with representing different values, line can be used to show texture. And different patterns and marks help create a very complex drawing. For instance, the abstract painter, James Little, uses pattern, shape, color, and line to make very complex and beautiful paintings. Additionally, we can see fine artist, Corey Barksdale, using line and color and shape to bring energy and emotion into their paintings. I will now show you a few tools that you can use to make different lines in your drawing. In this example, I have a thicker felt tip pen, a ballpoint pen, a micron pen, and a mechanical pencil. Lines are found everywhere. Even something as simple as your hand has an outline that you can trace. I hope this video helped you see how complex something as simple as a line can be. Thank you so much for joining and hope to see you next time.